Currently, precision in dosing various types of substances is an important requirement in many industrial processes, i.e. conducted on the lines, filling the packaging with appropriate amounts of cosmetics, medicines or household cleaning products. The following rule applies, neither much nor little. And do automatic systems have an equal here? We have visited HG Robotics to see the process. Hubert Grodowski, President of the Management Board of HG Robotics. We produce universal robotic packaging lines, intended mainly for the cosmetics and pharmaceutical industries. Our lines are highly versatile and therefore we may dose both shampoos, creams, micellar liquids, as well as very sticky creams and sugar or salt scrubs. We are going to see the production of robotic dosing lines. Are you ready? Let's start! Firstly, let's take a look at the operation of the line, on which up to a dozen different products undergo a dosing process. The only requirement? A liquid state. Packages are automatically fed to the line and set in an appropriate position. The dosing system is responsible for pouring the product into packages. Thanks to its construction, you can easily and quickly replace it and switch to another product within 10 minutes. The use of adjustable bases for transporting a single package, the so-called pack, facilitates changing the dosed products immediately. These lines are modular, which means that they can be expanded over time, e.g. by purchasing a kappa, labeler or an aluminum foil sealer. a device for closing packages with the popular aluminum foil sealer. And how is this line created? It all starts with a project meeting. A team of designers and automation engineers discuss the machine concept. They take a closer look at packages obtained from the customer into which the product is to be dispensed and set the line capacity and dimensions. Now the constructors select machine components, i.e. robotic systems operating on the line. However, automation specialists are responsible for the manner of line operation. They design the wiring diagram, they also create the machine control software and the graphic interface of the control panel. It is time to install a control board in the electrical cabinet by electricians. A PLC controller, which manages the entire line operation, is installed on it. It will be loaded with a program written by automation engineers. In addition, power and frequency inverters are mounted on the board. The machine structure is welded from stainless steel profiles. All elements having contact with the product are made of acid resistant steel. We do not forget about the details. Let's see how a pin for labelers is made on the lathe. Here, holes are drilled to fix the cap in the cover. And now let's go to the warehouse. It assembles both elements manufactured in the plant and those ordered from external suppliers. Each part is marked with a code and as a result, easily retrieved, making it possible for customers to order parts necessary for servicing. The ready-made set of components is sent to the assembly department. The fitter's work is based on the design. Mechanical elements are attached to the welded and sandblasted frame. Here we see how the labelling head is assembled. Then the pneumatic actuators are installed. And the power supply of individual devices is connected in the electrical cabinet. Automation engineers upload control software. Finally, the robot is installed and started. More and more customers are choosing robotic systems to improve their production performance and make it more accurate and efficient. 
It is time to conduct tests. The correct machine operation is checked with the use of all types of packaging together with the products that will be used by the customer. Overall, functionality is also verified. This approach guarantees success and that's all along the line.